Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. Welcome back to another Mystery Figure Monday. Woo! And we're going to keep up with something we did very recently. Mm -hmm. It's time for round three, Andrea. Ooh, of what? Of the Japanese minifigure <gasps> Blind Bag Review Rumble, part three. This is three, I hope. Yes, three. I didn't, I didn't look. I had to you check. You don't know how to count, do you? Shut up. They don't need to know that. All right, so let's get started. Let's get started in here with Japanese blind bags. Ba, I don't ba, know da, what ba. you were going with there. So we're going to start things off here with a fan favorite, actually. We're going to return to something we looked at in the past. Sorry, I'm still stuck on that bad singing thing, you know? Anyway, okay, yeah, so we're going back to something. We're going back. Oh, are we going to do a journey to the past? Kind of, sort of, because in our first rumble nice we did. Your fans will get that. No, they won't. So in our first rumble, we did... Cats? We did cats. We did something related to the cats. And this was something we liked a lot. And well, guess what? We're going back to, <gasps> ca oh! to Cafe de Miao for another visit. Oh, I love them. They were so much fun. How many yeah. do we got? How many do we got? So we each get two. We have four oh. of them. And uh, yeah, we looked at, okay. this is still wave one. But right, last time, back, so we didn't really have a lot of these. So we have a few more to take a look at. Oh, my and, God. These are so yeah. cute. These were so much fun. And yeah, so there's eight in this line. Uh, last time, I think we only got like two. I think we only had two figures to look at me or whatever it was. It wasn't enough either. Yeah, way. we did have enough though. So we're going to give it another shot and see if we get a few more. Uh, and we like these a lot. So. Look how cute they are. I need some that are in the cafe. Yeah, there's I macarons. The there's one. macarons. There's cupcakes. There's donuts. There's yeah. little hot coffee. Coffee. Little lattes, mocha, whatever. Yeah, whatever they are. So. Oh let's, my god, I'm so excited. Let's take our trip to Cafe Dumial and see what we get. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. And we should again stress that actually today everything we're looking at is from Clever Idiots. All awesome. of these are from Clever Idiots. Clever Idiots rocks. Yeah, there's a oh. little logo at the bottom of the box. I got me a kitty and a donut. You don't say, because I got me a kitty and a donut as well. Oh, oh, but we got two different donuts. Yeah, because like you saw in the past with some Clever Idiots stuff, they tend to like reuse some molds, but different colors. That's great. Yeah. Because like yours is like a strawberry one with white sprinkles. Mine has chocolate sprinkles and I guess is, I don't know, mint or pistachio yeah. or something like that. Green tea, probably. It's Japan. Green tea, yeah, they, they have green tea donuts in Japan. Oh, then, oh, yes. I like green tea. So yeah, and there's cat's butts as well. These are key rings, just to let you guys know, cat as you can butts. obviously see. There's the cat butt for you. It's really cute. Look at the little they're poses. They're so cute, and they're like just stretching, and oh, they're in downward cat. Yeah, they're. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See what I did there? Oh, they're so cute. I like yeah. them so much. Really nice paint jobs also on them, and the food is food looks good. The food looks good because I like that they have a little bit of texture to it. Because look at the don't you can see it on the donut. Yeah. Um, there's just like it just gives it a little bit more of a baked feeling yeah it does it looks it or looks real fried or baked yeah or both paint job on the cats is really good okay. donuts can get it's a little bit of slop here and there but it's like it's minimal yeah so you it's know not what? the worst and the thing is since they're donuts it kind of feels almost like it's more authentic that yeah, way i'd allow it I, i'm totally fine with that the kitties look so cute oh i wish i had kitties like that that you could eat no that i could play with you're weird they're, these are full kitties they're just going into the donut they're not like Ew, why would I want to eat a kitty? Well, I'm just saying, because, you know, I, I think I forgot to mention what our theme is for this video. This is going to be all food <gasps> mystery blind bag items. Ooh, that's good because I'm really... Wait, no, this is bad because I'm really hungry. And we're going to eat cats. Oh, goody. We're monsters today, folks. <gasps> oh, oh, nice. Oh, okay. I got a cupcake. I think that's actually... Yeah, I think last time uh, I got a cupcake also, but that's a different looking cupcake. And, and you got a macaron. And I believe last time we, we <gasps> may have gotten a macaron as well. I don't oh quite remember. Oh, my God, I just... Part of me wants Look to that. squish that, and the other one wants me to just cuddle it and love it, and I like kitties. We all do. Not everybody. If you texture. don't like kitties. It's got that texture of the macaron there on the insides of that. That is beautiful. Look how cute that face is. Oh, we got to show them how cute that yeah. face is. Look how cute that face is. There's actually, it's, you might not be able to see it from where you guys are, but there's actually detail. It's paint on the paws of the cat as well. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty highly detailed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Oh, yeah. Um, you might be able to see it a little bit better on, Yo, yours has it, but yes. on the cupcake because um, because it's white. And it's just, and the pink stands out a little bit more because this is a pink backdrop. I mean, this cupcake is so cool. I mean, the sprinkles, they have a little bit of texture to them. You know, they, they, they stand out. Like, you know, like the... It's rough and you can feel them. They're like the, what is it, the non or something like that? Yeah. They're called. And they're just crunchy and adorable. And that kitty, oh my God, this is just the sweetest face. <laughs> and rub his little cat tummy. Oh my God. And devour totally, him whole. I would be so happy to have a kitty like this. Or Sitting any in your of cupcake? These. Not in my cupcake, no. 
No. That would be bad. They would get into a lot of trouble. Yeah. They'd be yelled at. Probably. So let's put no, definitely. Let's put our Cafe de Meow cast on here. So once again, not a disappointment. Still, I think probably one of our favorites we've looked at. Yeah. So I, all right. I do love this about clever idiots. So we started out sweet. Mm-hmm. Let's get a little bit uh, savory, shall we? Okay. All right. Let's go have some sushi. We do enjoy sushi. Yeah, because we have sushi key rings by Clever Idiots. And there are 12 different ones in this line. Oh my god, this looks exactly like one of those um conveyor belt places. Exactly right. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So we each get two. And oh, so... and they have different plates. Yeah, so let's, in fact, I'm going to show them. Oh, you have to hold it lower. Cause oh yeah, hold, that. check it out. <laughs> lower. There we go. Look at those different plates. Yeah, so we have four different plates here. I don't know how many different ones there are, but we but have that usually four, means so. um different prices too. Oh, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really eat a lot of sushi, so I don't really know. But oh yeah, no, it's great. Um, because um, there's a place that I go to when I'm visiting family, and they the kids love it, and it's great because it's it's conveyor belt sushi. Yeah, and it's really good quality, and they have all sorts of great things. And it's cool because, um, oh, there's a mystery sushi. Yeah, I was just going to get to that as this okay. thing rotates, but I'll rotate a little bit faster. There is a mystery sushi. We don't know what it is. Okay, so this is really cool. Just, I um, guess, can I give him a quick breakdown? Yeah. Okay, so we have a mystery one, but we also have your traditional salmon, um, tamago, salmon roe. It, they also have wasabi and ginger, which I think is really cool. Fatty tuna, yellowtail, sweet shrimp, eel, sea urchin, and because everyone seems to love it, even though I don't get it, the California roll. That was made for the Americans. Yeah. And they don't even use real crab meat. No, all right, so let's, let's open these guys up in their very unique plates. So cool. Which I guess we're going to use to display them. That's, yeah. That's how you got to do it here. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Huh. Um, we might save that one for last. Oh, is that the. That, that might be the special. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I know if that, that, that didn't look like the special. I don't know. But, but um, I we're gonna come back to that got one. salmon roe. Oh, nice. Look at that detail. Oh, yeah. What's really great is it's translucent. Yeah. Just like salmon roe. Let's get it out of the bag and we can show them. Yeah, this is really neat. Well, I fiddle with mine. Here's some, look like. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. So oh. Here's more detail on my plate, by the way. Oh, yeah. Here, here's my plate as well. And I got. Ooh, that looks like fatty tuna. I think that's fatty tuna. See, I'm a little annoyed though. Where's my spicy tuna? <laughs> I'm so joking. Fatty tuna. So joking. The fatty tuna looks really good. I love the shine on it. Yeah, let's show you guys so you can get a better look at the tuna part itself. It's really nice texture. I mean, Japan is known for their fake food. So it's pretty amazing that like this, this actually looks kind of like that same kind of quality. It's really good looking. Yeah, it's... I don't know if you're aware of how big that industry is in Japan for fake food. It's I'm not, big, big but... deal. Every restaurant in Japan has like fake food in the front of their store to let you know what oh, you get. Oh, that is so cool. So this is like kind of, you know, def but not the same quality, but this is very close to that quality. Like, this looks, it reminds me a lot of what I saw when I was there. That's fantastic. So yeah. That's fatty tuna. Let's see your salmon roe. Oh, well, actually, we're going to move yours so we can display it on Let's that. Let's your own plate. I know. This is really cool. Okay, so you got the translucence. The, you know, it's translucent and everything, but it's cool because it has a little dot inside. So basically, there's the embryo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is creepy, but nice piece of detail. Yeah, there. right. And I mean, I just love the shine on the seaweed, the rice on the bottom. I mean, just look at that. They, Clever Idiots does really good rice. Yeah. But I just, I love this because, I mean, feel this. Like, the texture is just so good. Yeah, it looks, it looks like the little dragon balls in there, actually. But <laughs> yeah. that's just my interpretation. So, all right, let's put this plate over here. Okay. I, guess, I guess I'll have the uh, donut cats hang out in this. Oh! <laughs> they do like their fish. I'm super excited about this. The next one is... I'm going to take the plate up. Next one, if I did this correct, if I'm understanding correctly, is... Look at that plate. Jeez. <laughs> right? It's a big plate. This should be... I think this is... The eel. Look at... Oh, come on. You know you want to eat this. This just looks yummy. I mean, just look at that. Like, you have the detail. Like, you can just see the detail here, the different shading, the sauce on it. That's what I mean. Like, part of me is like, is that the eel? Because... I'm pretty sure that's eel. I think it's eel, but wait, if you look at it, well, shape-wise... I don't think that's the mystery one, because I'm pretty sure I have the mystery one. Okay, I hope you have the mystery one, because that'd be cool. But yeah, look at that. That's a really nice we detail. Have, Good sheen. so yummy. I want sushi. Oh. Now I'm really hungry. Let's put this over here. Oof. Got a whole bunch of food things today to eat. It's going to be quite a feast for these cats. Oh my goodness. I'm super excited. So what did you get? Here's my plate, which is eat? nice. Nice plate. Oh, that's a cool plate. That's <gasps> yeah. Oh yeah, you totally got it. Folks, you're looking at the mystery sushi what? right here. 
rainbow sushi. That's a little scary one. Yeah, I think that's probably not safe to eat, but it's really pretty. Oh, wow. Look at that detail. That is lovely. That is the rainbow sushi. I wonder what type of sushi they thought it would be. <laughs> uh, maybe it's like meat of a unicorn. A unicorn <laughs> fish. Oh! Why would you do that? I don't want to eat unicorn meat. That is really cool looking. Unicorn wow. Unicorn poop is a different story, but unicorn meat, we don't, you don't do that. That's it's the Roy G. Biv sushi. <laughs> That's really cool. That is so neat. Oh I really God. like that. I want to I wanna keep this here front and center. Yeah. No, of course. You move that eel. Move yeah, that eel. Yeah, move that eel. <laughs> All right. So. Okay, yeah, we are just full of the wacky puns. Wow. We need to eat like a little bit healthier now, though. We need to get some protein in our diet that's not from fishies or cats. Aww. We need some eggs in our diet. Ooh, I do like eggs. How about a little gudetama in your diet? Yes! Ooh, that looks kind of naughty. Um, ooh! We have some gudetama mystery figures now to look at. Oh my god, I love gudetama. And so these are uh, licensed, by the way, by Sanrio. So this is Clever Idiots with Sanrio in this case. Oh man, I'm yeah. so glad that they got this. I'm so, so glad. Yeah, there's, see, it looks like there is six different versions, I believe, here. Yeah, this... This looks so. This one, this one looks kind of naughty, though. Well, good time is a little naughty sometimes. Yeah. So let's get these guys oh open. Oh my god, I want the egg white. I want the egg yolky one. Yeah, they're I all. I mean, they're all egg yolks, but I want yeah. one that's like really yolky. So I think what these are, these might be things that go on uh, cup rims. Oh, okay, that would make sense. That's what these are here. Because it looks as though he's like hanging off stuff. Yeah. So yeah, all right. So we get a little pamphlet as well, which has. Oh, they're small. Get a nice little pamphlet. Shows you again all of the ones you get, and on the back is some stuff in Japanese. Well, you are on your own for that, buddies. So, okay, so I got the first one, which is I think it's the naughty one. That I was yeah, at. oh my, <laughs> oh my. Well, they, they need to see why it's so naughty. Controversial. We Look just got that butt. we just got flagged on YouTube. <laughs> Woohoo! So we don't have any cups. So yeah, we can use we can use one of those sushi yeah, things as the rim. These. Yeah, there you go. Like it hangs off like this. Yeah. So you can see his little booty hanging off the cup. This is a shake, shake, shake your booty. Oh, you got the one I want! I got the drippy egg yolk, which is the one yes. that Andrea wanted. Drippy egg yolk, drippy egg yolk. I don't, I don't know why that makes me so happy. I don't know why you're so obsessed with the drippy egg yolks, but I'm going to go with it. I kind of want the one with the shell, though. That'd be cool. Well, let's see. We got two more to go, so let's see what we got. I also like the one that's hanging on for dear life. <laughs> I mean, they're all kind of hanging on for dear life. Yeah, but this one looks like he's just kind of enjoying himself. I can't. Oh my god, why can't I open these? Oh, well, guess what? We got two, Ooh, two drippy, drippy egg yolks. So that's him in the package, and you got. Oh. I got the one where he's like kind of partying. <laughs> this one I kind of dig because he's totally partying. He's all like, check it out. And they actually can't put. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, he goes in there the other way, so yeah. Yeah, he goes like straight up. <laughs> you guys better look oh, at that too. Wow, wow, that's what me. Um, the important part is again. That sweet, sweet Gudetama yeah. booty. But... Shake, 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 shake that booty. There you no, go. No, no, oh. no, no, put on this one heart. Put on the heart. Well, center. it's fine. It's good enough. There yeah. we go. And yeah, again, drippy egg yolk. So we got two. I love that. So I want to see if this will work. <laughs> well, I'll take that as a win. <laughs> so they're also good for putting in your glasses. Just don't, don't move. <laughs> well, I said don't move. It was cold. It's an egg. No. All right. So let's keep going here because you have one more to look at. But now I dropped my yolk. That's fine. It's it's a floor yolk now. All right. Okay, so gotten let's... protein. We've had yummy appetizer of dessert. Yeah, we basically started with dessert, but we're going to go back to another favorite mm -hmm. that we looked at in our Japanese blind bag review number two. What? You want some more sushi, Andrea? Yes. Do you want some hungry? more sushi cats? I don't know, because this is like totally messing with my head, but yes. This, folks, is Sushi Cats Series 2. <gasps> oh, why am I sushi? But then there's Money Cat on top. <laughs> the Money Cat. <laughs> there's a Money Cat. I want Money Cat. Why? We need Money Cat. So this oh. is the follow-up to their uh, Neko Sushi Series 1. We looked at Series 1 in the previous video. Series, yeah, Series 2 now. So now they're, they're taking the whole sushi thing a little bit further. It's not just them with oh. food on them. Now it's... Like, I don't even know how to describe what, what this is. Like, they're, they, they're, they're career cats now, I feel like. One of them's playing ping pong. That's um Meow. Oh, my <laughs> God, it's Meow. <laughs> wow. Wow. You just got that, huh? 
Well, I'm not used to pronouncing it. Then there's Miss Lily, who she's a very fine upstart cat. Bochan, which is the money cat. Maggie, which looks like she's a knitter and, or crocheter. And then there's Ebenosuke. Yeah. Like that. Okay. And he wears socks. <laughs> and, and very important to note that uh, on the packaging, it does warn you that sushi cats are non-edible mystic creatures. So okay. don't eat these sushi cats. So now they can cry a little bit less on the package. So let's see who we got. Start things off. Oh, wow. They're really, they're, <laughs> these are really special cats. Oh, wow. You got um, Maggie. It looks like. Yes, that's Maggie. Wow. The detail on these actually, I feel like has improved since the last time. Oh, That's wow. the crocheting cat, I guess. Or and the knitting cat. Of course I got this one. And once again, just to let you guys know too, it does have the writing on the top, mm -hmm. which, uh, what does that say for us? Because I can't read oh, it Oh, that on. says... Um, oh, there's the front piece. Um, okay, your state of mind is the key to finding sushi cats. There open. will be a world of su sushi cats waiting for you beyond the gap. Ooh. Weird. I don't know. I don't know what the gap thing is, so it just seems really mystical and stuff. So yeah, that is Maggie. Maggie. Oh, Check she's out. so solid. But why would you eat a crochet, put a crochet on top of, oh my God, of the rice, but oh my God, she's wearing glasses. I know. She and glasses. these cats look much less like afraid to die because I think these aren't going to, these cats aren't going to get eaten. Yeah, they're, they're they like, they know they that they're like special mystical cats. And awesome. look at that detail and like this little uh, thing that she's been knitting and her knitting needles. I think she crochets more or than crochet, knits. Yeah, whatever that would be then. And again, look, we thought the last time about the rice. Look at how good that rice looks. Oh, tasty. Clever idiots really know how to do sushi. <laughs> I really do. Like, Clever idiots is awesome. Especially cat sushi. Okay, so you want to see who I got? Yeah, I want to see who you got. Because I... Show me what you got. Is that a lobster? There's a lobster on this. I got... Ebenosuke. Uh -uh. The one, who, of course, the one who I have the most difficulty pronouncing. But look how... <laughs> Cool. It's like he's a washer kitty, I think. He's got socks. He's got and socks. A fan, a looks fan, like. I think that's just, a fan. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if that's a fan or like, I don't know. And then there's a little lobster. Yeah, because he's like a seafood. Confused. He's a seafood cat because Ebby is like shrimp, I believe, or shellfish. So. He's so cute. Some kind of, oh, that really has a cute little face. Look at that little face. face is so That's adorable. a cat you want to just love and eat forever. How do you eat a cat forever? With love. And look at the socks he's got. <laughs> and yeah, this that's a really cute cat. I like oh that cat. Oh my god. I, I, all right, who you get, who you get, who you get? Let's find out who's our last sushi cat from Second, series two. I have one. I have one more. I know, but these are our last two. Oh yeah, they are our last two. <gasps> you got Miss Lily. I did. And oh, we Lily. unleash Miss Lily onto the world. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Look at Miss Lily. Oh wow. That. Wow, she's fancy. Or yeah, cold. Is that, is that rice? Look how cute that little face is. She has a little dirt there. Not dirt. It's like a little piece of extra plastic that looks like whiskers on her. <laughs> oh, really? I took it off, but... Oh, my... Oh, God. The face is so sweet, though. Yeah. So, who'd you get? Who'd you get? Don't let me put this egg back on your glasses. I got a dupe. Oh, our first dupe. So, what a dupe to get. <laughs> uh, Benosuke. All right. Well. I will get this down. Oh, but he's such a cutie. I do wish we had gotten um, Bochan, but but or, and Meow. Who wouldn't want Meow? Yeah. Meow. But these are just too cute. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with these kitties. Yeah, they're really cute. I mean, the sushi is awesome and delicious, and I really enjoy that. But the kitties are really where it's at. Kitties where it's at, clever idiots. But this is all. These all are really so good. good. So yeah, these are all four again by Clever Idiots. And we looked at the Gudetama line, the sushi cats. The Gudetama line. Yeah, Gudetama. No, when you put it all together, it just sounds like something different. Yeah, it does, I guess, yeah. Gudetama line. <laughs> there are sushi key rings, and of course, here's our big, awesome mystery sushi, so you guys That's know what the hunt so is on cool. for. And our Cafe du Miao. Meow. Indeed. All really good again. Just we can't get over how good this whole line is. <laughs> I really like this. All all four of these lines are great. I mean, we, we only got one dupe. Actually, no, sorry, we got two dupes. Yeah, we have one good atomic dupe as well, but not bad. This is really good. Yeah. Considering we only got four of each, that's pretty good ratio. This I'm is happy fantastic. with that. Yeah, no, no, no I, I dig it. I'm happy. Like really, this is almost perfect. Yeah. You know, so. Yay. 
So on that note, here's Good Thomas Butt to take us out of there. So hey. I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. And this is all by Clever Idiots. Go get some food that you can not eat because they're mystical cats and an egg-depressed man. Go um, get some awesome stuff from Clever Idiots because yeah, they're awesome. Go do that. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh.